mighty adventurers. You have been tasked with rescuing Guinevere, a barmaid from a local tavern in the town of Fayhaven. You've tracked her mysterious kidnappers to a cave in the forest of Saradun, and you four now approach the cave entrance. As the sun sets and the ancient forest grows dark and misty, what would you like to do? Garnet the Barbarian takes out Chloe the Cleaver, his gorgeous axe, which totally matches my outfit. <laughs> oh, oh, and it's still drenched in the blood of his frenemies! <laughs> also, oh, I'm looking for a lantern in my fur purse, which is fake, but still totally on fleek. Okay. You lift your hooded lantern and it floods the area with light. I, Aradane Lightbringer, raise my sacred longsword. Wherever evil dares to tread, I shall smite it with my holy blade. Jasmine Sparklepants, the jolly, colorful gnome bard. Jasmine's gonna play a song of inspiration, I guess on her unicorn-shaped harp, which is probably impractical because it's too heavy to carry, but whatever. And lastly, Selendria Morningglow, the elf wizard. What does he do? Selendria is gender neutral, actually. Okay, so I like cast the detectorage spell because I gotta pay off my student loans at the wizard uni. Even though I think like education should be free, but you know we live in a capitalist class-based society that values money over education, so it sucks. Well, you cast your spell, and you detect the faint aura of gold and silver. Lack of bra. Ooh, ooh, can I see if there are any tracks that might convey them? Roll a survival check for me. Yes, queen, 17! You find tiny footprints. Goblin footprints. <laughs> Cute. Foul villains. They dare kidnap Winnevieve the tavern wench. Existence is a front to my holy crusade. I shall Bro. First of all, Tavern Wench, super sexist and derogatory. Mm, yeah, good work, dude. Second of all, although I respect your freedom of religion, that doesn't give you the right to condemn an entire race and culture. Jasmine plays every day in a song of disappointment. Not all goblins are necessarily evil. Can we just investigate the cave now? As you enter the dark, dimly lit cave, Five goblins, armed with clubs, torches, and short swords, leap out from the shadows. Lift up my long sword and go to attack them. Relax. Let's try some diplomacy. I walk towards the goblins and hold up my hands. The goblins are surprised by this and stop. Their weapon is still raised. We mean you no know harm, my goblin chinas. We're just seeking where to be. Roll a persuasion. Natural 20, bruh! The goblins lower their weapons, and one of the goblins in the front speaks. Our terrible master, Fagrim the Red Dragon, ordered us to raid the town and kidnap the woman. It is he who has her now. See, bruh, if you work for a red dragon, you're definitely evil. That's all I'm saying. Did you just make fun of Zelentia's accent? Not cool, fam. Bruh, I'm totally gonna forgive you for that. But with regards to them being evil, this is a classic case of crime based on racial inequality and exploitation of the working class. Just saying. Suddenly, behind you, you hear the monstrous breathing of what can only be Fargrim the Red. With a final huff, he blows out your lanterns. Darkness. <laughs> oh, don't fear. I don't discriminate. You will all feel the grinding of my teeth. Roll for battle. 